In 9.3, there is no place to hide. We've got all sorts of things coming your way. A new Gravity Shifting Titan, the Ultimate Edition Invader, and titles, a new way to show off your accomplishments. To top it off, there is also a new pilot currency, a new mothership, balance updates to the gold economy and motherships, and much more. One video is not enough to cover it all, so read the update notes at the link below to get all the details. A new Titan is on its way to the battlefield. Its creators spend years learning to control gravity itself. Well, up to a point. Newton can spawn a gravitational anomaly above its target and lift it in the air. The ability only works on a single target and the pull isn't that strong. But taking a few extra hits, it's still guaranteed when you're facing Newton. Newton is a sniper titan. It packs a long-range railgun for its second ability. So, it might be a good idea to face shift or dash immediately if your robot starts levitating for no reason. And when you're a pilot in Newton, remember that a direct line of sight to the enemy is always a double-edged sword. Fulgurant tunnels are designed to be a part of a Newton build. They are both sniper weapons that zap your target with an electrical discharge from up to 800 meters away. They deal a ton of additional damage to Titans and their reload cycle aligns with Newton's railgun, allowing you to land a volley on the enemy each time you pull them out of cover. In 9.3 you can spend an entire match avoiding the enemy team. Hurricanes are medium slot homing missiles with an incredible effective range of 1100 meters. If you choose Hurricanes for your main build, be sure to install them on something that can run fast. The other team won't sit idle with missiles raining down on them, and they will try to catch you. But luckily, Hurricanes don't have a blind zone. When there is no other option, you can stand your ground and use them in melee. Have you ever seen an invader scoring a kill with its jump ability? In this update, it becomes a viable tactic. Ibris Bakir will soon be ready to offer you his expertise and boost the ability damage of all your invaders. As you've probably guessed from his choice of armor, he prefers the ultimate version. And it's not only a matter of taste. The ultimate invader has three medium slots instead of one and boasts a better defense system immune to defense mitigation. Equip it with ultimate coronas and you get a brawler worthy of the Champions League. And by the way, all ultimate items upgrade instantly now. You can complete those upgrades even while another upgrade is still underway. Ultimate version or not, pilots are a force to be reckoned with. Dude Price uses the power of the Nimbus technology along with her technical background to pilot Newton. Every now and then, she applies suppression to an enemy that hits her Titan. Her second ability boosts the damage of Newton's inbuilt railgun, and her third makes the target of its ability hover in the air a little longer. Then there is Elizabeth Green, who gives Quantum Raider to Atheon, allowing it to ignore stealth while it flies. Finally, there is a big new feature coming to the game with this update. You can now acquire titles that make your achievements visible to everyone in battle and on your profile. Just look at this champion Kozak. Not only did it climb to the top of the league ladder, but it also scored many wins, destroyed hordes of enemy robots and became the top player in its team multiple times. All while staying in the Champions League. Titles are only awarded for major achievements like that, so those who get them are truly special. If you see a teammate with a title, shake your turret in salute. There are also some balance changers, technical tweaks and bug fixes to expect in 9.3. You can find the full list on our official website. As usual, we're leaving the link in the description. See you on the battlefield, commanders!